Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can customize the event date on a list of events in Squarespace. We're going to change the color and the font style and even change the shape and the position of this event date and how it relates to the thumbnail for the event itself. Lots of fun stuff to cover today. As always, the codes are listed below, but I'd love to show you how this works. So let's hop into Squarespace and take a look at these codes together. So here we are in my Squarespace site, and I have a list of three different events here. And you'll see on the top right hand side of this event thumbnail image is the actual date of the event. And that's what we're going to customize in this tutorial. So all of the codes we're using are listed below, but I want to walk you through them one by one. So let's hop into design and scroll down to custom CSS. Now the selector that's going to be in all of these codes is event list dash date tag. That's what this specific item is called. The first code I want to show you is how to change the colors of that tag. So I can open up a curly bracket here and say background purple. That's a web safe color name. And now the background for those has become purple. If I add a semicolon and say color, and I'll use the hex color code for a solid white, that will change the color of the font. So again, background will change the color of the actual background behind that date. And color is what changes the color of the text. You can use a web save color name like the word purple or blue or whatever color you'd like or a hex color code like I've used in this example here. Now we can also give it a box shadow if we want to. I'm just going to add another semicolon and I'll say box shadow and we'll set the vertical offset, horizontal offset, spread and radius. And again, you can use any color code you like. This creates a pretty big shadow. So I'm actually going to use an RGBA color code so I can adjust its opacity. There we go, now it's a little bit different. Now I'd also like to show you how to change the shape of this date tag. And to do that, we'll add another semicolon and we're gonna use a border radius. Now I can say border radius 50% and that will make it a perfect circle if there's only one date. Check out this second one here. This is a multi-day event and you can see the 50% border radius doesn't look that great. That won't make it a circle. So if you only have single day events, that's a great way to make it into a circle. We can also create like a leaf shape if you like to. I like this one. We can say 15 PX and zero, and that creates an interesting leaf shape. Lots of fun options there. Now, last but not least, let's change up the position. Let's say we've added the border radius, we've changed the colors, but we actually want this date tag to be on the left. All I have to do is add a semicolon and say left 10 PX exclamation point important. And that will scoot it to the left and give it a little bit of room, leaving 10 PX between the edge of the image and the tag. If you want it to be right up against the edge, just make that zero. And there you go. I think 10 looks a little bit better because it's kind of hovering over the actual image itself. We can also center it. To do that, we actually have to change just a little bit more. And again, this code is in the description below. I'm just gonna paste it right here in my CSS. And you can see we've actually scooted it to the center by saying position relative, margin auto, top zero. Now we can also say top 10 PX. We want to scoot it a bit from the top as well, but that's how you get it centered. So you can change the position. Now, again, all of these codes are listed below and there's a lot to customize. So I want to encourage you to get really creative. However you style these date tags, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial. All of those codes we just used are labeled and listed below, so you know which ones you're gonna wanna grab to add to your own Squarespace website and how to customize them. If you liked this video, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week and I wanna make sure you catch the latest. Thank you so much for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're gonna love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.